Welcome back from that commercial break. I hope you enjoyed it. So here with me, as you heard from the people who are taking us to the man's skeleton and first aid, here with me is another group which is going to take us through local salt. I would like to take this opportunity so that they can introduce themselves. Hello everybody. My name is Aine Mbabazi Claudia together with my classmates. Songa Nicole. Seba Gala Augustine. We are here to teach you how to obtain local salt from ash. But before making the local salt, we need the following items. A banana leaf. Cotton wool. A sharp knife. water and another container that's dry burnt ash. Now let me hand you over to my classmate so I'm going to teach you the steps. Thank you and remember the cloud, yeah? My name is Songa Nicole. Here I take you through the steps that are followed when making local salt from ash. First, we need to first burn the bean husks and the dry banana peelings in order to form the ash that is here. Next, we have to make next we have to we have to use a sharp knife to make slits in the middle of a piece of banana leaf. This will help to make the water flow easily into the container. Then we get the cotton wool together with the banana leaf and put it inside the funnel in order to enable the taste of the salt not to dilute. Then, this will help to filter the water from the ash. We then put ash, we then put, we then put ash into the funnel and we should put enough ash. We press the ash to compact the ash particles together. No, stop. To compact the ash particles together, we then pour water into it. The ash inside the funnel. And we should put enough ash. Then we press in order to compact the ash particles together. Then we pour water into the funnel. Then add more ash. So we wait for the filtrate to come out. The liquid obtained is called filtrate and it is brown in color. Now let me hand you over to my classmate Seba Gala to take you through the uses of the filtrate. Thank you, Songa Nicole. My name is Seba Gala Augustine and I'm here to take you through the and I am here to take you through the uses of the local salt obtained. 
the local salt obtained can be used to prepare foods like peas and beans and some other vegetables like leaves of peas and pumpkins. The same, the same filtrate can also be used to, to skewer stomach upsets. Try this at home and teach other people how to make local salt. Thank you. Wow, that was a very interesting lesson. I hope, I hope you viewers who are watching, I hope you have learned how to obtain local salt at home. All you need, you need banana peelings, bean plants, banana leaves, ash, which has been, which has been made from the banana peelings and the beans to make the local salt. So as you heard the, what the last speaker said, teach other people what to do. These have been people from mother, at Mother Marjorie Primary School. Okay, here we are with a, with a fourth group. Uh, first group was about the human skeleton. The second one was about first aid. Third was about how to obtain local salt. And this is the fourth group about the human teeth. Let me f introduce the people who are going to take us through the human teeth. Hi, my name is Sunny Zayan, a pupil of Mother Marjorie Day and boarding primary school with my friends. Okpo Zavia. Mudidi Edward Patrick. And today we are going to talk about human dentition. So, dentition is the arrangement of teeth in the mouth. As you can see here, there are two jaws in our mouth. We could, there's the upper jaw and the lower jaw, and both in the two jaws there are teeth. So allow me invite my friend or pause ever take us to the types of teeth and where they are located in the mouth. Thank you, Sunny Zion. My name is Okpo Zavia, and I'm going to take you through the different types of teeth. We first start with the incisors, which are flat and chisel shaped, to enable them easily cut food. There are four in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw. As you can see, the canines, which are sharp and pointy on top, to enable them easily tear flesh. There are two in the upper jaw and two in the lower jaw. The premolars and the molars, which are broad with cusps, to enable them easily crush food. The premolars are four in the upper jaw, two on either side, and there are four in the lower jaw, two on either side. The, while the molars are six in the upper jaw, three on either side and six in the lower jaw, three on either side. The incisors are the first teeth to develop in a baby's mouth, and the premolars are absent in the milk set of teeth. An adult has 32 teeth in the permanent set, while a baby has 20 teeth in the milk set. Thank you for listening. Allow me to invite my friend Mudidi Edward to take you through the different ways of caring for teeth. Thank you, Okipo. My name is Mudidi Edward, I'm going to take you how to care for your teeth. You can care for your teeth by eating food, foods rich in calcium, e.g. eggs, meat and green vegetables. This helps to strengthen your enamel. And brushing your teeth daily. You can brush your teeth two times in a day or after every meal. To brush your teeth you require toothpaste and a toothbrush and clean water. So you get your toothpaste, apply it on your toothbrush. You dip your toothbrush in clean water, then you start brushing. You prefer brushing up and down to easily to, to easily remove that. We do we do not brush like this. If you just brush like this, you won't be really cleaning that. You won't be really cleaning the teeth. We brush up and down. Then we brush on top. We brush inside. We go for the upper jaw. We also brush up and down the molars and premolars. Then you rinse your mouth with clean water. If you feel like there are food, if you, have, if you feel like there's food in between your teeth practice dental flossing and if you feel like you're not brushing your teeth properly please visit the dentist for proper cleaning but also those who open bottles with open soda bottles with teeth please quit it 
And for those who eat too much sweets, please stop it. And those who smoke, quit smoking, please. As I've heard from the fourth group which has taken us through the teeth, it has sold us not to open bottles of soda using our teeth and it has given us the best of brushing our teeth. You should brush your teeth up and down, not sideways, because you may not remove. And if, if you feel you've not brushed your teeth well, go to the dentist for further cleaning. Uh, here with me is the fifth group. I like them to introduce themselves and tell us what they are going to present. Hi, my name is Nizi Chloe, a pupil of Mother Manjari Day and Boarding Primary School, and I'm here with Osamora Esther. Kunako Imakele. We are here today to talk about immiscible liquids. Immiscible liquids are liquids that do not form a uniform mixture when put together. For example, you lift them up. Water and cooking oil. Water and kerosene. Water and petrol. These liquids are called immiscible because they have different densities. Let me, let me hand you over to my friend Basemira Esther to talk about the different densities of such liquids. My name is Basemira Esther and I'm here to take you through the different densities of cooking oil and water. You may accidentally mix cooking oil and water. The first thing you will see are two layers. The layer on top will be that of cooking oil and the layer down will be that of water. Cooking oil floats on water simply because cooking oil is less dense than water. Cooking oil has a density varying from 0.91 to 0.93 grams per cubic unit depending on the temperature. Water has a density of 1 gram per cubic unit. One of the ways of separating this mixture is by use of a separating funnel. Allow me to take you to my friend Kukundakwa Immaculate to take you through separating cooking oil and water by use of a separating funnel. Thank you, Basemira Esther. As she has said, I'm going to take you through the steps of separating such a mixture using a separating funnel. This is a separating funnel. It is made of glass. It has a lid that covers the entrance. It has a lid that covers the entrance in which the mixture shall be poured in. It has a tap that helps to control the flow of the liquids. And now we are going to we are going to gently pour in the mixture. As you pour in the mixture, you must be very careful. Then we leave the mixture to settle for some time as we get to collecting containers, one, one for holding the obtained water and another for holding the obtained cooking oil. Now the liquid has finally settled, so you get one of the collecting containers and put it under the separating funnel. Then you gently open the tap to let the water come out. I know, I know now you are wondering why we have removed the lid because if it's simply because if we had to put the lid as you can see the pressure at which the liquids coming out will reduce so we must remove the lid. Then we get another collecting container and put and then re the cooking oil. As you can see right now, we have managed to obtain water, of which this water can be used for mopping the house or watering crops. And the cooking oil can be used for cooking. Thank you for listening to us. We remain pupils of Mother Marjorie Day and Boarding Primary School, and our school motto states, run a race to win.
I hope you have all enjoyed this show today. Uh, would have continued, but because of time, sorry. Next time, better. Dear parents, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I request you to help your children in order for them to achieve whatever they need. I, I remain Adilo Mika. Stay tuned to Target TV every Saturday at 9 a.m.